Goodly morning. We are back at my uncle's farm and today we are gonna plant ginger. And I was in Suba last week so um, I didn't join in on the uh, process on the beginning. So um, they have uh, dug up um, this part of the farm you can see all here using that tool there mm -hmm. that my uncle is using right now. Fox tools. The big fox. And um, today he's gonna show us how to plant ginger village style. Um, and also, um, I asked him, when is ginger the ginger gonna be ready to be harvested? He said, after three months, you can harvest the baby ones. But if you wanna wait until it's uh, fully matured. Um, it's gonna take six months so uh, and and this is like um, a big thing for Fijians because um, when they go to the market and sell gingers it's like it goes so real fast like it's a big big seller at the market very good source of making money yes but hard to plant eh? very big job Starting from digging the soil, no much shade. No but some people in Bitilebu, around Fiji, they use uh, cow, sibiar. But as in Motiriki, they didn't have much uh, more place, more land. So we just use the fork and a knife. We weed the grass, and we dig the soil up there. And uh, we're gonna show you how to plant ginger. Good source of income. We're gonna start the process. We're gonna dig from the top. Just a, a line go down from there. And Ure will gonna... The best manual of the ginger is the MPK. So people, my uncle told me that when you plant ginger, you have to make sure it's uh, you plant it in a place where it's uh, dry as possible, keep it dry. And that's why we are digging a um, channel, drain, drain a drain um, uh, around um, the, um, the ginger farm, as you can see here. See, my uncle is digging uh -huh. the drain so the so the water can flow flow freely here um and uh, i don't know how uh, tough this job is gonna be but you know i think it's gonna be tough because being a village farmer is a tough job <laughs> so i will take the manure Right here. Open the bucket so they can see the menu. And um I will I will go to my Lewa. Um, and see if they can teach me. Yes. Yeah. 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 Doing a, you're gonna dig the soil right down, right from this top to that down. And we, Ure is gonna put the manure, the MPK, in, you're gonna do it in a triangle way. Triangle way? Yeah. You will put one drop of manure over here, okay. over here, over here, another one here. That's triangle right. way, how you put manure. Okay. Why triangle? Because when it grows, it's easy to gain the ginger pack in the when it's mature you 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 can easily get the ginger out very oh. not cracking or crack or ass fuck you <laughs> <laughs> so the ginger will yeah. collect itself yeah so when you harvest the plant there's like a whole uh, yeah oh. big one so when it when, when you see one two three when it's grow, this one go over here, this one go in the middle, this one go over here. 
Oh. So it's full pack in the soil when you have a stick. Whoa. Understood. Hey, hey, hey. Understood. This is the boss instructing us how to plant ginger properly. No, don't you go. Yo, the line should be straight. The line goes down because. When we clean, when the water come, big more rain, so it cannot be Wet. wash away or oh. clean, clean it, the ginger plant. You want it to be dry all yeah. the time? dry all the time. So, you, you saw the last video, we doing yam, you, see, you, you can see the yam is uh, already, it's grow. You can see the yam is growing. And it grew bigger. And beside of the yam palm, we create one ginger farming again. So that's how it's formed. Because put it together so it can easily the more when it's more like this, just one one broom clean again. So come on, put the manure. Okay, no, you put it. I think. Oh, yeah. You can see this is the, the MPK manure. When we're gonna, the first thing, the first manure for the ginger is MPK when you plant it with, when it's a uh, canres or when it's, <laughs> when the plant is uh, growing up, when it have leaves, and uh, we're gonna use the Ukraine manure. So this is the MPK, and we're gonna buy the Ukraine manure for the after three months and we're gonna put the ukraine manure for ginger so this is how we put the manure see one two three in the middle again it's like a triangle ting 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 triangle so we're gonna put it down Right away to the bottom. You be careful, the soil is getting back to the hole. You <laughs> big hole. <laughs> so it, it will be like this. So when you plant the ginger, you're gonna put put uh, the way the you're gonna put the ginger where the manure is is on it. So you're gonna plant the ginger onto the manure. So that's how the process ginger works. And you do it all the way down? All the way down. So how do you know that's enough manure? Huh? Like, do you just take a handful? Yeah, or... like this. Okay. That's enough? That's enough. Sometimes the ginger Big, big manure, less level. <coughs> so you put the yes. enough manure for good level. You big level. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, we plant ginger in. Uh, I think this is the fifth year of we plant ginger. So the first time we plant ginger, we the to call taman titi thank you so taman titi the ministry of agriculture oh the ministry of agriculture the first time we have the the, the ministry of agriculture give us the 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 canite <laughs> and we plant it and this is the fifth year when we still plant ginger because it uh, a good source of income so right now we didn't have any market but the uh, only market is uh, clearly we used to sell our ginger when it's harvest time 
Isin lebuk. Just sa basa. So that's because basa just didn't have uh, to lose more in coming for transport because Abalo is near beside us. A very good very good uh sesame income because a lot of people love jeans. Eh? It's a medicine too. Medicine for diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> Diabetes and AIDS. <laughs> Urea is AIDS. <laughs> um, I will make a statement. I don't have AIDS. That's uh, he was joking. So, to my girl again, no, I don't have AIDS. So, we ending putting manure. And we are ready to plant the plant the ginger. So we're gonna the ginger will divide it and we're gonna plant it in the line. And after we plant it, and we're gonna show you how to show show you how to pull the ginger. Or what do you call? Cover it with soil. Cover it with soil. Okay. Set. So people, this is the ginger. My uncle is just taking some up out of the bag and you can see right. here So guys, we are ready. The ginger is ready to plant. We're gonna go and plant it. So you can see the eyes of the ginger where it's gonna be kandre. So this this thing will gonna face up, face up the sun. So you're gonna plant it like this. Yeah, like that. Where the manure is. So it can be become big. And if you want a big ginger, come to Muturik. We're gonna show you how the process work. See the eyes green so if you wanna have a big ginger big smiling face ginger come to Monteriki we're gonna show you how to plant and how to dig it and how to harvest it and and how to sell it so come to Monteriki so the um the ice as you said yeah. this is gonna be become the plant yeah so when it springs out yeah. then it will grow it will grow it will give the leaves of the ginger Okay, let's go up. So that's how she hits square one, two, one, ten, ten, ten. Triangle. Triangle. It's like that. And who told you, like, taught you this technique? The, the first time that the agriculture gave us the ginger plant. Ginger plant. Mm -mm. They thought that uh, thought they told us the technique, but uh, we use we take the technique, but it's very not good in our part of our kind of our soil. And the, this uh, this process is my technique, so don't copy me, otherwise <laughs> you're gonna get trouble. <laughs> well, so you. You improved uh, their technique and improved. Yeah, my uh, technique is better. It's better. Okay. So you wanna learn my technique? Come home. <laughs> <laughs> Come home, baby. And we show you how to plant it, how to dig it, and how to harvest it. How to fuck it? How to fuck it? Oi, <laughs> 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 
Mango. You be careful, I am Miss there. Yes, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I'm here, I'm here. See the ice. So when it's gonna harvest, the ginger will go all the way over here. Pack, full pack. And how uh, long is the ginger plant gonna be when it's fully matured? Like six months. When it's six months, it's mature. Chenga, I'm telling like the the leaves, well, uh, plant, actual plant. When it grows, how big is gonna be? Uh, like this. Okay. Up when it's uh, when it's grow, the best time when you put the second manure, the urine manure, when the leaves reach the soil, and you put the you put the that manure in the good time, like uh, not over three three months two weeks, just only three months. You put that manure, boo. You will show your ginger will big, whitey, fresh. Very awesome. <laughs> and it will kick your ass. Hey, hey, wait, say what you want And my uncle is very fast, he's very experienced. See? He doesn't play games when it comes to planting ginger. Guys, we already planted and uh, we are ready to cover it with soil. So, this is how the process works. I'm gonna put one your hand like this, your hand like this. And we'll go like this, see? This, this side, this. And that's how it works. And it you master it very nicely and it should be like a mountain so when the water come it go this side go this side not go in the middle so you're gonna bullet it very nicely <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see. swell this side swell this side Very nicely, very slow, but skewer. Eh? No mistake. I can see. So you can see that's how ginger works. I don't know what kind of because many people plant ginger. Don't know how their techniques because you you guys know how to plant ginger. Don't follow my technique. <coughs> it's very hard. You follow my technique, you will be have a problem, and don't and don't and don't follow our technique because this technique is for our soil oil because our soil is very old. Okay? So do your own plan if you're gonna follow our technique way Yunga will die <laughs> <laughs> so
so people i don't know how many lines they're gonna do from the top all the way to the bottom um well let me ask my uncle it's a uh, up to your strong. <coughs> if you good strong, you can make seven line, eight line. But but up to you. And as big, you will gonna save this plant ginger. No, you will. Uh, you will all, always have big hole. My Kai said, when you, my Kai, my Kai, my grandpa, my grandfather say, when you have big hole, you should take the, the ganbulu and put in your hole so it can be close. <laughs> Where are you going to the cover? Where are you going to the cover? So, the Nganimbulu is what's covering the actual coconut, what's on the outside. So, yeah, imagine that getting it up in your backside, as my grandfather used to say. So, therefore, don't have a big hole. <laughs> don't be Lamu, be like Samu. Don't be Lamu, be like Tukamu. <laughs> so we're having a, a water break. Sun is very hot. We're gonna drink some water so it can be give us more power. See, God's power. Korea is a big, little bit more big ass. <laughs> you need the gun bulls. <laughs> Suki man, Suki, Suki, Suki man, Suki, Suki, Suki boy. So we are a little bit uh, late from over here because this is where the first sunrise heat is from over here. So we are a little bit uh, late from the farm today because we go and get the uh, rainbow this casa <coughs> from the other village. So we come back and we have tea and we come this time is a bad time in the farm. It's the sun is getting hot and hotter. <laughs> so if you wanna go if you, if you wanna be a farm, go early in the morning. So you can do more more stuff more things you can do in early morning because you breathe the fresh air you get we uh, will get very awesome for the weather if you walk like this your weather will like your body because it's very early in the morning and you can hear the sweet and the very good sound of the birds the crawling of the mongoose <laughs> <laughs> and the moo of the cow and the barking of the doggy <laughs> so go early in the morning don't be like us you will get tired and you will get big hole <laughs> so go early in the morning best farmer go early in the morning you can do everything early in the morning when you go 10 to 12 you will not do uh, such a good thing. You will go like this. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, you don't eye. When you drink rock last night and you come this time, woo! Before you work, your ass become bigger. <laughs> like Urakashi. <laughs> So 
So we're gonna take more break so it can be come afternoon when the sun goes down. When the sun goes down. Hi guys. <laughs> It's another technique using fork to dig the oven. So I know hen is getting hurt because it's very dry. The, the soil is very hard. See, hmm. very hard. Eh? So your uh, finger is very. You know hen is very because my hen is very little bit cut. So, don't use your power, just use your head. So you can get, after the job, you're not long line. You is very, after the job like this, you get strong again. So, don't use your power, use your head. head. Use your head to control your ass. Aye. <laughs> And the boss is over there relaxing. Hello, boss. Set to go. Now you see, very easy. So, when you job like this, and, uh, and the job getting harder. Don't use your power so it can make you very so it can make you don't I just use your head, it's very easy. And don't I is don't I is time. like after you use your power, you become uh, lazy and kava <laughs> kashi. <laughs> so that's very good lesson. Use your Head, don't use your power. As you said, can <laughs> see. And you can see he is prepared a new line for us, so we can um, continue plant our ginger. And my job is uh, make sure I put the manure, line the manure from the top all the way down and that's what I've been doing as you can see on my fingers and then my uncle the big boss is gonna um, uh, plant the gingers and then Tosias is the one that is making the line and covering the ginger uh, with the soil so um, I guess I'm doing the easy work <coughs> And now, another break, and this time, time for some Powerade, Islander Powerade, the Popo. Tuliandua. <laughs> Okay, let me try, let me try. Mm, sweet, sweet, sweet. <laughs> Need some energy. This um, ginger farming is um, taking longer than I thought. So, uh, remember, if you see a papaya and it's mature, make sure. 
to grab some some energy island energy mm. <laughs> okay people I have the um, manure here and uh, according to the uh, technique you're gonna put it in a triangle so this is my job triangle or diamond shape so let's try and you have to hold the manure like this like salt bait technique and then sprinkle it like that like this like that and I hope I did it right so I'm gonna continue with this line it just duck and uh, hopefully uh, we can soon be done oh we're gonna come again tomorrow because we don't have enough manure and then we're gonna finish it so yes um, I haven't got any complaint from them yet about my um, technique so I guess I'm a good listener <laughs> okay back to work So guys, we done now. We just already done four line of ginger. So we didn't have enough manure. <coughs> so the best thing that uh, the ginger can uh, really good and have uh, good level uh, is to make sure the to, to make sure the ginger is already always clean for the no grass inside so just like when you have a girl the more you love your girl the more the, your girl love you too so the more you take care of your ginger the more he give you the good things so don't lose him make him tight <laughs> so thank you see you again and people just like the taro yangona and uh, cassava farm you have to come and repeatedly uh, clean the ginger farm as he talked about make sure you take care of it like your girls when you love like you love your girl so the more you love your girl the more she's gonna give back and the more you take care of the ginger the more the ginger will give back to you the ginger will come big and strong <laughs> and um, that's it people that's how you plant ginger in the village I'm sure um, other places they do it differently but here in our village we do it that way um, and uh, we're gonna show you in maybe three months or six months time when it's ready to harvest then we're gonna do another video and show uh, the process of that but um, that's it for today um, for the ginger farming so until then